Now, part of the reason why I'm here today and uh, with the regional security team and also with the leadership from this county is that uh, we have had a series of actions that have raised the temperatures in the country, but more so in this region. And in the process, we've had loss of lives, we've had destruction of property, and this has largely been perpetrated by criminal elements who have taken advantage of the situation. Of course, it has not been helped, or the situation has been made worse, by pronouncements from various leaders. And I would want to make a special appeal to our leaders that we need to be mindful so that if you are going to demonstrate or if you are going to ask Kenyans to go out and demonstrate, let's follow the law. It has to be peaceful. The police must be notified. We need to know between what time and what time are you doing your demonstrations and for how long and how many people. And as we do that, where your rights stop is where the rights of the others who have a contrary opinion begin. And we cannot use the freedom to picket, to trample on the rights of the rest of Kenyans who do not want to participate in, in, in the demonstrations or in the processes that you you undertake. And lastly, for me, is the use of violence to pass points or to communicate. It cannot be in this day and age that whenever there is a disagreement, whenever you are unable to persuade people to have your viewpoint, then you resort to violence. I dare say it shows the highest level of primitivity. Persuade me, persuade Kenyans to look at things the way you want, and if they don't agree, let them be. But it cannot be that if I don't agree with you as a PS, the only solution you have is to burn my house, or the only solution is to beat me. And it is something that I want to throw back to all of us that if even in schools we stopped caning children, how dare you beat a grown-up simply because he does not agree with your viewpoint? It's the highest level of primitivity and we must get away from it.